Hey there, it's Walter here from FX Jake, and I just wanted to take a look at some of the uh, posts here on the forum and just some of the charts. So, just basically what's going on right now. Um, Dan's got a trade on the Singapore dollar on the four hour chart, as you can see here. It technically, I mean, you can get real nitpicky here and say that it's not a kangaroo tail because the open and the close are not in the top third, but um, but it is a nice long tail. Uh, and if I draw my fib grid, I can see that the it looks like that the open is actually just slightly outside of the uh, top third of the candle. Looks like it missed it by about two pips or something like that. So. But regardless, uh, you can see here that this 23, uh, 1.2350 level, you can see why that's an important level. You can go back to April and see that there was a bounce there, uh, see right here at the end of April. So you can see why that was a uh, an important spot. We may even get like a daily one here. The only scary thing is that, you know, um, there is a level, a fairly significant level, um, where these lows are right here that's around 24 and and this touch right here uh, so it may not go that far given that we've seen some big bearish candles but uh, it certainly is an interesting looking setup and certainly I can see where people would want to take that trade for sure so that's a that's a pretty cool um, pretty cool looking setup there um, there's another chart here, um, the EuroCAD. So this was a, a sell on the EuroCAD here. Um, that Dan took and you can see that was pretty cool. Uh, I can, I don't know if I should bring it up or not, but basically you can see, um, it was right here. It was this move right here, this bearish candle, and then came down here, printed a uh, kangaroo tail, and then rocketed back up. Um, I think a lot of these pairs are sort of just resting right now. You can see the Aussie took off. It's resting right there. If you go to the uh, Euro, the same sort of thing. It rocketed up, and it's just kind of resting. Obviously, the market goes through these stages where it will run and then rest and then run and then rest and we're in sort of that resting stage right now which is fine so um, it's a good time to just sort of watch it consolidate and then make the next breakout move so at least that's how I see it anyway there was also we also have some posts here I want to look at from um, Right here Jeff has a few as well that we can look at we go to the last page here okay Seaman was looking at the uh, Aussie Singapore let me just bring it up on my chart it's so much easier so on the Aussie Singapore um, you can see how the market went up here and made a nice move if you look at Seaman's chart, you can see that um, he's talking about the market getting up to basically where it rebounded, and that's right here at 28.50, right there. And it has, in fact, come down since Friday. I don't have a bearish big shadow or kangaroo tail or anything specific other than just a simple bearish candle. There's also some talk about the Euro Singapore. You can see that the Euro Singapore is within striking distance of the 5890 level, which would be a great spot to look for a bearish candle and a sell. If it does break through there, we, we also have 6300 up here, which would be also a nice level given that we've had a couple of bounces there and a retouch. So that's interesting as well. Um, and then if we keep going here, I wanna go back actually and um, look at uh, 
Jeff's right here. Yeah, so a lot of people were going with the Aussie pairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Forex Boy was looking at the Euro Yen. And Forex Boy, Forex Boy was looking for a buy on the Euro Yen. Um, here, let's actually look at this because this was an interesting setup. Forex Boy was in this one during the non-farm payroll you can see that it did in fact rock it up here this is the four hour setup but if you go to forex boys chart you'll see that uh, this right here is a really nice consolidation and then breakout let me go to the daily you can see consolidation breakout so there you go and again, it's just sort of resting right now. You'll see the same thing on gold as you will on the euro and the yen, or sorry, the euro and the Aussie and the euro yen. You just see a breakout and then a, a, it might even flag up for a couple days and then break out again. So there's a lot of um, opportunity here to just kind of wait and see what happens next. Um, just looking at the Swissy here. Swissies have a little bit of a retrace move recently. And the other trade setups that people are looking at, just want to take a look at uh, Jeff's here, Jeff's journal as well. So Jeff's looking at the Euro Kiwi. That's an interesting one. Let's bring up that chart actually. There it is. So you can see where we have some lows here, support and then resistance, and then it's up right up against 58.40 here, and then it's fallen through. Um, but Jeff's cell was never triggered, and it's in a little bit of a retrace here. Um, I might actually even look for like a four hour setup if it were to come up here and give me a nice looking tail, like this kangaroo tail here. Something like that would be nice, or even a daily close below last week's low on the bearish candle. In other words, if the market were able to close below 57.20, then I might look at a, or like 57.15 or lower, I might look at selling there and just putting my stop above the recent highs and seeing if I can make a run to 54.60 down here or even lower to 51.14. So that's a really interesting trade to me as well. Um, but that's really about it. There aren't, all, there aren't a whole lot of setups now, given that the market sort of rested here. Jeff was also looking at the Aussie Yen. Um, I'm not sure about this one. I know a lot of people have talked about the Aussie Yen and the Aussie Singapore. But I don't, I don't know um, that I would, I don't know that I would do it just yet. Like the Aussie Yen, if you look at the Aussie Yen daily, it does have this sort of kangaroo tail thing here, but I would have preferred to see it up here at 82.25. So I'm going to give this one a miss. I know a lot of people are interested in this one, but for me, it needs to get a little bit higher. And if it printed something like that up here, I would be very interested. But it's kind of, to me, it's kind of in between the most important levels. I do see where, you know, you can, you can make an argument for a level right around here. And, and that's great. But even then, you could argue that, well, the market's broken above that and, and it's going to bounce on here. And it's actually found support here. So I'm going to let that one go for, for the moment and just see how it goes. But if it does make a move up to 82.25 and print some bearish candles, I think I will jump in on that. All right. I wish you very happy trading and we'll see you soon, folks. Take care. Bye.